forward home with problem 15. Problem 15 says evaluate this limit. The limit as x approaches pi over 2 of secant x divided by tangent of x. So what I usually do here is usually always go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. If it doesn't work, that means you got to do more work. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it in. Rewriting this, and then I'm going to plug it in. All right, so I plug it in here for x. I'm going to get secant pi over 2 divided by tangent of pi over 2. Okay, but secant of pi over 2 is 1 over 0, and tangent of pi over 2 is also 1 over 0. So what do we get? We get 0 over 0, and that is undefined. Okay, or usually that's also, this is infinity, and this is also infinity, so you get infinity over infinity, undefined. Okay, since it's undefined, that means we have to do more work. Okay. So what's the more work? So we got to go ahead and try to simplify this, the secant and the tangent. Let's recall some trigonometric identities here. All right, we know that secant of an angle is equal to 1 over cosine of the angle. And we also know the tangent of an angle is equal to sine of the angle divided by cosine of the angle. Okay. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and substitute for secant 1 over cosine and for tangent sine over cosine. Okay? So we have the limit as x approaches pi over 2. So I'm going, so this, this means needs more work. All right? So that's how we go over here. Secant, I'll just rewrite this and then we'll go ahead and do some the algebra. Okay, so we said secant is 1 over cosine. 1 divided by cosine. And tangent is sine divided by cosine. Alright, so now we have a fraction divided by another fraction. Just multiply by the reciprocal. Times cosine of x over sine x. So the cosines would cancel out, and you're left with 1 over sine of x. So what does that mean? That if you take the limit of this, it's the same thing as taking the limit of this. So let's try that now. So let's take the limit as x approaches pi over 2 of 1 over 1 divided by sine of x. So let's go ahead and plug pi over 2 in here. We get 1 divided by sine of pi over 2. But sine of pi over 2 is 1, so you obtain 1 over 1, which is defined. It's 1. Okay? So, to recap, always go ahead and plug it in first, see if it works. If it doesn't work, that means you need more work. So, come back to it and try to do some algebra. In this case, we recalled some identities here, and we went ahead and substituted them, and it came out nice. We got 1 over sine x, we took the limit of that. And we got one.